Hello, this is Paul Gabry with another episode of Ask ZBrush. All right, in this episode, I want to answer the question that came in. Is there a way to apply a seamless alpha and texture across a section of a model? So what's really neat about this is we can actually just use only the texture to do this technique. So here's an example where I've got just like a chess piece that has this pattern going across the front of it. This is actually from a texture and I'm getting a raised surface and the color all from just the texture. So let's take a look at how I did this. I'm going to switch to another variation of the model before we have the information. So I'm going to scroll down here to my texture map. And within that, we have this texture that's a seamless repeating pattern. So I'm going to turn this on. So this texture now is just being applied based upon the UVs of this particular model. So what I'm going to do is change the repeat that is happening with this texture. So instead of this texture only being used once on these UVs, I'm going to tell it to use it multiple times. So right above texture map, I'm going to open up the UV map. So I'm going to hold the shift key. So I can open that and that'll also make sure like texture map stays open. And within here, there's going to be a create menu. And down here, there's a repeat option. This will actually allow you, as you can see, to repeat the texture that is in my texture map. So you can see this goes all the way up to 64 by 64. So that's pretty extreme for this example. So I'm actually going to go a little bit lower. I like what this is doing, this pattern, with a three repeat and a three repeat. So now that I have this repeating from this one texture, right? the next thing I'm going to do is I want to apply it. So I'm going to go above UV map. Again, I'm going to hold the shift key and click on poly paint. That will keep all the menus open that I've been in. And I'm just going to say now poly paint from texture. So I'm going to click this button. And now we have the paint that is applied now. And you can see the texture map is actually turned off. So the model itself now has paint. And now what's really great here, I've got this repeating color value. So now I need, in essence, the deformation or the raised part of this texture. Okay, so now watch this. I'm gonna go into my masking menu and we're gonna use this button right here called mask changed points. I'm just going to keep it a closed circle and click that once. And you can see that got darker here. But what's really happening is watch. I'm going to turn off my colorize. And you'll see there's a mask now applied based upon the paint information. So there's going to be different tones of gray here. And now to get a surface that has a bump or a raise to it, I'm going to go to my deformation menu. And right down here at the bottom, there's an inflate. So I'm just going to inflate this, this direction. You can see, so if I go really extreme, you can see the mask, what I'm getting from that texture. So I'm going to go right about, I just want a little bit of a raised surface. So right about there. And then now let's turn our poly paint back on by hitting our colorized. And then we'll clear our mask. And there you have it. We now have a raised surface and paint information all from one texture. So thank you for watching this episode. Please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Again, just jump on Twitter, send in your question, and just make sure you use hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you for watching again, and happy ZBrushing.